Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Please only listen when you can safely be bored to sleep. And only listen when you can safely close your eyes. So... hang gliding's kind of out of the question whilst listening to this you don't want to be banging into a mountain or something banging? I don't know if you could bang into a mountain a mountain um, so those of you that have never listened to um, this thingy that I do before it's a multitude of things it's kind of grown expanded a bit, bit, bit like my belly it's kind of grown isn't it also, there's a part of you that you don't want to grow as well isn't it parts you'd like to grow just don't do they but yeah as my belly's grown and it started off I think it was around <sighs> around January February time in 2018 and it was kind of an experiment I thought uh, Hmm, I don't know. I thought I just, I just, I don't know what I was thinking really. I just thought, I just, I'll try something a little bit different. Um, partly because when I did my vlogs, when I used to you know, do video vlogs, Jason Chats, I'd be talking for like half an hour or maybe an hour sometimes and then I'd take them off YouTube because I never used to leave them on there for long and people would say are we going to do another one uh, like the the viewers and they'd say can you do another one because we find it so relaxing when they weren't supposed to be relaxing so I took that to mean that I was a bit boring because I was actually talking about my life and people were falling asleep so and I've been doing the sort of sleep insomnia recordings uh, for like 14 years or something or no, not at that point but since 2006 so I thought okay what if I kind of mix the two together kind of um, so that's what I did and it has progressed to be in squeaky chair this chair annoys me <laughs> I don't notice it's squeaking generally it's only when I'm making a recording the rest of the time I don't even notice. Oh. I nearly fell asleep yesterday when I was making the recording. I literally was like, oh. I was just really tired. So. I started and it was I'd probably say the first one or two was more like a relaxation session or sleep session that I'd previously done and then it gradually turned into something else and I'm not really sure how I would describe it because 
not every recording is the same. Uh, sometimes I'll read out of some books or... God, oh, do you hear that? That was loud, wasn't it? Someone's slamming the gate. Sometimes... I thought it would be fairly quiet at this time of night. It's uh, 10 to 1 in the morning. There's always a few background sounds. It's fine. It's... Uh, <laughs> it's part of the process. And... Oh, now one day I've just seen he's just jumped off the, the bed. I've heard of him. So he's going to be coming in here, probably running around, causing havoc. Yeah. Havoc. So what was I saying? Yes, it's kind of progressed to be... A sniffy session has kind of progressed to be whatever it is, sort of organically becomes something relaxing, maybe soothing. Um, the feed, well, some of the feedback that I have received has been that listening to me can it sort of slows your mind down and gives kind of gives your brain something else to focus on other than thoughts and stuff like that and what else I don't know or well, some people have said it's company. So it's almost like a kind of radio show in a sense. But it's not live. Well, it's live when I do it. I mean, I'm, I'm alive when I produce the recording. But... I mean, I, I, could, I can actually produce it live. I do have the ability to broadcast live on the podcast, like actually as a, like a radio show. However, that's dependent upon the internet working perfectly. And it, do, it does most of the time... But I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want to do a recording or like do a broadcast and then suddenly the thing sort of cuts out. Although I will be doing a live Facebook broadcast on Christmas Day um, because I'm going to be announcing the winner of the current competition which is to win an Amazon Echo Dot which will be sent to you wherever you are in the world it's going to be a, a free gift or free prize um, originally it was for people that leave a video comment but I've now included uh, people that leave or a video review rather on the review page of my website but also it's going to include people that leave a review like a comment review um, but those that leave a video review will get two chances to win so they'll get uh, an extra 
they'll get their, their name put in twice. Because I'm really looking for some video reviews because I thought they'd be really, really groovy to have that. And the way it works, it's really cool because I've, I'm, you know, I'm paying for this service to have to to allow people to actually post videos. So I'd like people to use it if possible. It's um, if you're on your phone, most most people do listen or they go onto the website. You know, they use their phone. So if you go to my website, jasonnewlands.com. First of all, all of my recordings that I do from this podcast are actually on there as well. So you can stream it there if you want or download it for free. The um, If you go to the review page and you click uh, write a review, you can read the reviews that are there as well. It's got two different sections. There's the products page and there's the shop page or products and shop. So you click, so there's the reviews that have been left on the review page or on the first page of the website. But if someone's gone to actual a product, so let's say yesterday's Let Me Bore You to Sleep 270. Is it eight, 278, something like that. Then if they leave a, a review on that page, it will come up as a product page. But anyway, that's where the, just like, it will give you a list of where they are. So you can read them or watch the videos. But you can also click on the write a review. And it will just ask for your name, email address, uh, what your review is writing so you can write something down and then you can click on the video symbol which is just below the, the thing and then it will give you an opportunity it will give you a choice you can choose a video which is already on your phone that you've made previously or you can actually record it there and then live and then post it and I'm only asking for like a short video. I don't, I'm not looking for like a three hour epic, but just, yeah, maybe 30, 30 seconds, 20 seconds, maybe a minute, I don't know. I'm not sure how long, how much it can uh, allow, but just a short video just to say, hey, GG, wish you looked how you sound. <laughs> Wish you was six foot six and blonde with brown eyes, but you're not. Why can't you be how I want you to be? So yeah, if you if you do that, you'll be included in the competition. So anyone that does that leaves any reviews on the website between now and. Christmas Day, 25th of December 2019, will be put into a, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, I might, I might just write down the names on pieces of paper and then just chuck them in a bucket and shake the bucket up, or, 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 I might actually see if I can get hold of some kind of pinball um, machine that you can get, you know, with all the balls shaking around and stuff. But obviously, you know, not an expensive one. Because I'm hoping, oh yes, I'm hoping and planning to do one competition every month. And future competitions will be something like for everyone that, let's say for January, it's not decided yet, I'm just saying it just as an example, a possibility. Anyone that shares my posts on Facebook will be um, automatically entered into the competition uh, 
to win something. It might be a personalised, it might just be a a one-off recording that won't be available to anyone else. It might be... It could be a lot of different things. It could be a CD. It could be... It could be, you know, who knows? I'll, I'll think of something. But it'll be, you know, it'll be a prize that you'll get either digitally sent or uh, sent by post to you. I suppose what I could do is... Ah... Make a recording, and for those that share my videos or whatever on Facebook, will then get a a copy of that recording. But only those that share during that month. It'll be like a one-off. So I suppose instead of just giving it to just one person, I could give it to however many people share so like everyone's a winner then except me because I'll have to make the recording <laughs> so that is a possibility tis a possibility tis 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 tizzy tis 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 hmm have a quick drink Ooh. So that's what I'm um, what I'm thinking of doing. So I will announce the winner Christmas Day. So if you're listening to this in January or February or you know 2020 or maybe November 2042 you know whenever it's, the competition is done but you're still welcome to leave a video review on my website because the more the merrier I mean a lot of it is just just for me really just to just to hear how things are going to hear how what I'm doing is useful and I'm not I'm not aiming I know I'm talking about it on this podcast but you know, it's aimed also for anyone on other that listen to my other stuff as well my deep sleep whisper hypnosis or the relaxation hypnosis for stress anxiety panic attacks or the sleep hypnosis weekly or any of the other stuff that I do um, because on those podcasts I don't have so much of an opportunity to talk about competitions and if I do it has to be really quick before I get on with what I'm talking you know what I'm there for I could spend the entire recording here talking about it because it's boring, isn't it? So I'm just very lucky that it all fits into the plan. What else was I going to say? I haven't been out today at all. It's been raining, raining and raining and raining. I say today, I mean, it's now a new day, but, you know, yesterday, because I'm still awake. I haven't been out. I just I mean I had a I had a big big spike in downloads today. Well yeah I mean today is still happening online because it doesn't swap over until about one or two o'clock. Yeah, you know, a new day starts. I don't know why. 
that's just the way it is on Spreaker and so I've had about 5,000 downloads in the last I don't know 20 22 hours or something and that's quite cool I quite like that I did upload a few a fair few uh, of my old relaxation recordings onto the relaxation for stress and anxiety podcast um, and I put in brackets old relaxation recording because I thought it might be useful and also that's where the audience is now for my relaxation things so there was a big spike on that on that podcast but I've still had a, a lot more generally today than I normally do so it's it's been nice uh, to, well, I did make two recordings yesterday so that could have something to do with it I did a deep sleep whisper and uh, let me bore you to sleep as well yesterday yeah so my idea my idea is to do this thing which is last week I think it was Friday I was in town I had to go into town and they what did they do oh yeah and I went into a shop which sells cheap stuff like cheap books and and I've got a couple of books they're both supposed to be what it says recommend well RRP recommended retail poo at 6 99 and then it was £2 and the other one was also supposed to be 6 99 and it was £2 and one's called The Little Book of Drinking Games and the other one's called F in Exams The Best Test Paper Blunders so I thought I'd dip into one of them I'm just going to move my thing around so I thought I would uh, oh, get myself nice and relaxed I'm going to take my glasses off because I need my well the thing is I can get by without my reading glasses when reading but not for like long periods of time but distance I mean I've taken my glasses off now and I've got no idea where they are no I do I know they're there I've took my glasses off and the television's on and I can see it but it's it's a bit blurry especially the writing so Yeah. It's weird. I can see, I can see like the colours and I can see. I'm just going to see if it's easy, if it's better on my peripheral. My eyes get tired when I try and watch television without glasses. And that wasn't that long ago. 
that I used to watch television without glasses. But then I went to the opticians and I started wearing glasses whilst watching television because the glasses uh, doctor said you have to need to wear glasses while you're watching television I said oh, wait, just just television he said no you can do other things I mean you know you need to have uh, a variety of activities in your life I said no I, I mean do I need to wear them for anything else he said well, there's a good way of figuring out for yourself uh, when you need to wear glasses. I said, what's that? He said, well, when you're looking at something and you can't see it, then maybe you need to wear glasses. I said, what? He said, yeah, that's, that's, that's the best way. I said, are you actually medically trained? He said, no. No, I, I wanted to be a doctor, but that didn't work out. Then I wanted to be a vet. That didn't work out. Uh, couldn't get a job at Amazon. Um, picking, you know, packing stuff. So I thought I'd become a... Um, um, uh, what do you call it an optician yeah yeah an optician I keep forgetting well, how did you manage to study to do that if you don't even know what it's called oh it's easy I just I, uh, I went to a different country and got my qualifications there what yeah it's a lot easier sometimes you go if you know the right places to go, you just turn up, give me money, and you know you do a few online tests and stuff, and they sort of run it through. You show you a few YouTube videos, <laughs> and uh, Joanne Girardi, and it's done. It's like, what? <laughs> I said, no, I'm making it up. So which bit which bit are you making up? Oh no, I did I did get a job at Amazon. The rest is true, but I did get a job at Amazon, but I had to finance the uh four hundred dollars to become a optician, you know, that training course, expensive it was. I mean really all you need to do is just like Look through your left eye, and you just give them different lenses. And the good thing about it is, you give them a lens that if you, you guess is okay, yeah. And then you keep giving them rubbish lenses, and you say, the first one or the second one, first one or the second one. But every time you just manipulate them so they just take the ones that you already have. So basically everybody in the world has got the same pair of glasses, but they don't realise it. It's the same lenses. That's why when we say, oh, come back next Wednesday to collect your glasses because we have the frames, uh, have the lenses put into the frames, your prescription, we don't. They're all the same. In fact, some don't even have glass in them. No one ever notices. Why would they not notice? Well, they need glasses, don't they? They can't see properly. Well, why don't you give them proper lenses then? That's because they don't really exist. It was a made-up thing. And some thought it would be a, a funny, funny joke to say that you can wear stuff that makes your vision better. And the public kind of bought into it. And it was like one of the biggest placebos ever. 
just by giving someone a pair of glasses with normal lenses or even no lenses they believe that they can see better they can read better and it's it's, it's like a it's a panacea is it panacea is that the right word I don't know I haven't got my thesaurus on me but yeah it's, like, it's, it's great it's really really good wow didn't know that you know why you didn't know it? Why? Because... Oh, I've got a minute, I've got to go. And he tap danced all out of my life. So this book's called F in Exams. Ooh. The Best Test Paper Blunders by Richard Benson. So, of course, I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. Um, Copyright, Summersdale Publishers, Limited, 2008. Uh, So, I'm not going to... I'm just going to... Just It's an advert, basically. I'm going to advertise this book. Go and buy it. It's a brilliant book. You can get it from any good bookshop. F in Exams, The Best Test Paper Blunders by Richard Benson. And it's pretty cheap as well. So it's got a few different ones. So I'll read out a few different bits. So let's have a look. What is a nitrate? that's the question on the exam the answer is much cheaper than the day rate I like this next one give a brief explanation of the meaning of the term hard water someone's put ice What's describe the chemical differences between HTO and CO2? HTO is hot water, CO2 is cold water. So here's another question. This is very kind of apt for the environment, really. It's, here's the question. It was predicted in 1988 that tin reserves would only last until the year 2006. However, 18 years later, there are still enough reserves to meet industry demand why is this and the answer has been put because people are not buying so many tins of baked beans (laughs) 
<laughs> this next one. <sighs> okay. I like this. Over the last 50 years, there has been a significant change in the concentration of carbon dioxide. Give a reason for this. It's easily distracted. I like that. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, let's have a look. So that's that. Uh, Let's have a drink while I'm doing this. <sighs> uh, Adam cuts his arm. Blood gushes out and is red in colour. What does this show? And the answer, he is not a robot, he's a real boy. <laughs> what is a fibula? A little lie. Oh dear. This is under biology. Okay, I'm just I'm going through it. Um, how is oxygen loaded, transported, and unloaded in the bloodstream by forklift truck? Hawaiian Islands there are around 500 different species of fruit fly give a reason for this and the answer there are approximately 500 varieties of fruit <laughs> I should talk really shouldn't I just just have a little look what happens to your body when taking a breath your chest gets bigger so this is physics now
What is Sir Isaac Newton famous for? He invented gravity. Name an environmental side effect of burning fossil fuels. Fire. Describe what happened during the Big Bang. A lot of noise. Give the names of two gases that might contribute to global warming. Number one, bottom gas. Two, cow burps. Give a reason why people would want to live near power lines. The answer, you get your electricity faster. Give three ways to reduce heat loss in your home. Thermal underwear. (laughs) Move to Hawaii and close the door. So this is geography. of hedge grow removal all the cows will escape the cars drive into the fields <laughs> there is nowhere to hide <laughs> oh wow Volcanoes occur on what kind of plate margins? Hot plates. does the word lava mean? A prepubescent caterpillar.
what do we <clears throat> what do we call a person forced to leave their home perhaps by a natural disaster or war without having another home to go to homeless <laughs> homeless Inhabitants of Moscow are called mosquitoes. Still looking for the next one. How high is Mount Everest? And the answer put depends how much snowfall it has had since it was last measured. Good point. Some maths. I probably wouldn't even know if the wrong answer was quest was right or not. Change uh, seven eighth to a decimal seven point eight. Oh. Name a regular triangle. A three sided triangle. Oh, this one says, write 200,000 in figures. And they've just copied it in writing 200,000 in figures. And that's something I probably would have done when I was at school. At school, and now probably. This, this is good. There are 300 students in year 10. Mary and Mark want to find out year 10's favourite colour. Mary asks 30 people. Mark asks 150 people. Mark says, my conclusions are more likely to be reliable than Mary's. Why does Mark think he is right? And the student's answer is, because Mark is a man. And all men think they're right. Me, 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 me. A car company is having a sale. A car that was £25,000 before the sale now has 50% cut off. What is the new price? Still too expensive. <laughs> it's got one here, expand two, and then in brackets, X plus Y. And they basically just put two in brackets, X plus Y, then underneath, 
a larger version. They did a larger version of that and then an even larger version underneath. What is conditional probability? Maybe, maybe not. somewhere you are at a friend's party six cupcakes are distributed among nine plates and there is no more than one cake per plate what is the probability of receiving a plate with a cake on it and the answer nil if my sister is invited to next question what is the symbol for pi and someone just drew a piece of pi John and Julie are both strong badminton players. It is more probable that Julie will beat John in four games out of seven or five, five games out of nine. Oh yeah, it's a question. <laughs> is it more probable that Julie will beat John in four games out of seven or five games out of nine and the answer is given is she will win every game she's a girl girls are better at these things okay the next question how should Julie play to minimize any loss dirty mm. The next one is in business studies. Uh, explain, explain the word wholesaler. Someone who sells you whole items, example, a whole cake. <laughs> wow, this is this is controversial. It says a uh, assess fashion house PLC's choice to locate its factory near Birmingham. Yes, I said, I was thinking Assess was the name of the fashion house. Assess Fashion House PLC's choice to locate its factory near Birmingham. If Birmingham is Birmingham, the right location for this type of business. Somebody put no, people from Birmingham aren't very fashionable. Ooh, no, I don't agree with that. I think people from Birmingham are brilliant and I could never judge anyone that's on their fashion oh, I'm, I'm the least fashionable person on the planet seriously 
suggest three steps Paul is likely to take when selecting the best candidate for a job. You're hired, you're fired, you're hired. Huh. Uh. Describe the this is for business studies. Describe the term stakeholder of Empire Hunter. Buffy being the most famous. Claire was <laughs> Claire was well prepared for her interview. Explain how Claire may have prepared herself for the interview. Had a bath and put on her lucky pants. So the next section, I'm not reading out all of them, I'm just picking a couple out of each one. Psychology. Let's have a look. Explain the psychodynamic approach. Using your mind to move things like a Jedi. Suggest a way to abate aggression. If your hands are tied behind your back, you can't punch people. Explain the process of learning. A process by which information goes into one ear and out of the other. Express the term stereotype. It's what kind of CD player you own. said I think therefore I am I did please fill in the sections of Maslow's hierarchy of needs below and at the top and at the bottom I'm all the way up to the top the bottom's chocolate buttons Biscuits, cream egg, ice cream, and at the top, cake. That's someone that really didn't want to. They didn't want to pass, did they? Upon ascending the throne, the first thing Queen Elizabeth II did was to sit down. Summarise the key developments 
of the Industrial Revolution. Industry Revolved. Name one of Abraham Lincoln's greatest achievements. Having his face carved in rock. (laughs) Summarise the major events of the Cold War. It started off by someone throwing an ice cream and then someone threw a lolly back. Why was the Berlin Wall built? Germany was competing with China. (laughs) So this is history. Explain what is meant by the word dictator someone who reads out loud why did Britons have better health after the year 1990 because the 80s were over What did Mahatma Gandhi and Genghis Khan have in common? Unusual names. This is general studies. Jeff has been asked to collect data about the amount of television his friends watch. Think of an appropriate question he could ask them. How much TV do you watch? That seems fair. What happens during a census? During the census, a man goes from door to door and increases the population. ICT, don't know what that means. Uh, So computer studies.
the local swimming pool uses a computer system to regulate the water level. Can you suggest a disadvantage of using a computer in this instance? Computers do not make very good lifeguards. Suggest an advantage to video conferencing. You can't smell bad breath via video. What is a CD-ROM? An album of romantic music. What is a hard disk? It doesn't break when you put it in a dishwasher. What is a floppy disk? It is a disk that has been left out in the rain. So let's see, in that's kind of there are others. Use the word judicious in a sentence to illustrate its meaning. I'm sure I, I wrote this in English. I am using judicious in this sentence to illustrate its meaning. Roman's greatest achievements learning to speak Latin name the successor of the first Roman emperor the second Roman emperor <laughs> oh dear That's it. I'm not doing it anymore. Oh. So I hope I bored you sufficiently enough for you to have drifted off. <sighs> Sleep. I wish you well and I will speak to you tomorrow. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.